everybody, so today's video is going to be part three and the final part of my absolutely ridiculously massive bath bomb haul video. I really hope you guys didn't mind it being in three parts, but it just made it a lot easier and I feel like a 10 minute video is easier to watch than say a 40 minute video, so I thought I would split it into three rather than do it in one big one. And I hope you guys don't mind, but do let me know down below if you prefer long videos, videos like this where I split them into categories and like split them into sections so it's not as long. Do let me know because I'd absolutely love your opinion. But without further ado, I've got a lot to go through in this one. So I hope you guys enjoy and carry on watching. So the first bath bomb is 5 95 and that is Marshmallow World. I believe I bought this before in the last big Lush haul I filmed where I bought this and a few other of the new ones. But this one is so, so good. It smells like, what is that smell? Oh my gosh, what is it? Is it creamy candy? It's a familiar sweet scent and I can't pinpoint what the smell is, but it is very, very sweet. If you like your bubble gum, your snow fairy, your kind of creamy candy comforter smells, you will absolutely need about 12 of these because it's so good kind of like melting marshmallow moment that kind of smell so good love that next up we have the royalty bath bomb and this one is £6.95 it's basically like a little crown which I can't make look like a crown again this one smells familiar what is that oh I just blew gold glitter everywhere I've definitely smelt that before. It's like, is it cinders? It smells like cinders to me. So good though. Again, absolutely love that one. That one is really nice. It's like a slight cinnamony smell, but it smells basically like Christmas and I love the smell of Christmas. So that one again is really, really good. Another bath bomb, which I'm not gonna be able to pronounce is the Tadami, Tad, Tadami, Orca. Hmm. Hang on, let me try this again. The Tad, Tad, I am a Orcaari bath bomb it's this one it's £5.95 and again scent wise this one smells really minty like it's like a creamy mint smell almost if you put cinders and toothpaste together that's what this smells like actually smells really good yeah I really like that one it's really fresh but I don't know about the color I feel like the bath water might go a bit of a weird brownie color but we'll, we'll find out um but yeah really like this one again covered in glitter so I imagine it's gonna do something really cool in the water but yeah that one's really really good next up we have the olive branch and again I believe I bought this one before Smells like the olive branch shower gel, would you believe? And this one is only three ninety five, so it's a lot more affordable compared to the other ones. So if you want to buy one that's not as expensive, definitely get this one. It smells really, really fresh, really nice, and I imagine it's going to be super, super moisturising, especially if it's full of all the lovely ingredients that the uh, shower gel is. So yeah, really like this one, and that is the olive branch. Absolutely obsessed with that. The next one is six ninety five, and that is magma. This is basically supposed to look like molten lava, so it's supposed to be kind of like orange and yellow, and it looks really, really cool. Um, so Scent wise, what is that? I've smelt that before. It smells like a deodorant and toothpaste mixed together. Oh, what is that? If anybody knows what that's supposed to smell like, let me know because I've definitely smelt that. Is it a deodorant? A foot powder? I'm not sure, but I've definitely smelt that before. So let me know down below if you've had this one because I have not tried it yet and definitely smells like something. A little something something that I'm not I'm not too keen on that. The next bath bomb is a little bit more expensive. This one is £14.95p, which is ridiculous. However, it's absolutely massive. Obviously, I'm not going to use this all in one bath. I imagine what will happen is me and my mum will probably split this between us. It smells like lemon. So, so good. Really, really fruity. And obviously, I imagine there's stuff inside it. Yes, there is definitely stuff inside it. And I'm not going to open it because knowing me, I'll drop it and it will go everywhere. But this one is really nice. And I think as a gift, this is just really beautiful because it's wrapped all nice and, I don't know, it's just a little bit extra. So yeah, that went actually in my mouth. Doesn't taste good. The next one is 6 95 and this is one that I'm going to give my mum because of the name. This is called Ginger Ninja and my mum is actually a redhead. So I'm going to give her this one. This one smells like the ginger fragrance, so the little ghost melt that we had on Halloween a few years ago and the ginger range is basically what this smells like. Really fresh and there's glitter everywhere, like everywhere. But it's so cute, look at him. Really, really adorable. Honestly, that fragrance is amazing, actually. I really like that. Next up, we have Hi Ho Silver. This one is actually £5.95 and it's the size of Butterball, which kind of baffles me. However, scent-wise, it definitely smells familiar. Like, I've really, I have smelt that before, but I'm not too sure where it's from. So if you guys know, do let me know. This has a really beautiful kind of glitter to it. It's almost like a holographic blue and silver. It's really pretty. But again, what is that smell? Please comment down below. If you know any of these bath bombs and if you know what their fragrance is, if they've been previous ones, leave them down below because I can't remember. Honestly, that smells amazing, but I just cannot pick, like, pinpoint what that smell is. My phone case is covered in glitter. Do you like my phone case? It's cool, isn't it? My boyfriend bought it for me. Cute. Next up, we have one called Choco Mint, and this one is £5.95. And before I smell it, I really, really want this to smell like 
chocolate chip ice cream like mint chocolate chip ice cream so I'm just gonna hope that it smells like mint chocolate chip ice cream it kind of smells like mint chocolate chip ice cream it's like mask of magna minty smelling which is like a chocolatey like mint smell that's what I think anyway it has got more of a chocolate like gel pen hint to it if you know what I mean but that's really really nice and I feel like with this one though there's gonna be something in the water that's gonna either not dissolve or something I'm not too sure but it looks really pretty Mm, smells nice though, love that. Next we have the Bomb Paragon Bath Bomb, which is 3 95 and it looks like this. Again, what is that smell? That is definitely an old smell that they've brought back. It's like limey, but not. I've definitely smelled that before, but this one is only 3 95 so it's more on the affordable side. But again, I don't know what this is supposed to be. It kind of looks like a light bulb or I'm not sure. It does smell good though. Mm, yeah, I like that one. Next up is another big one and this is the Sea Salt Giant Bombshell and this one again is 4 95 and it looks like this. So again, I'll probably split this with my mum so we have half each. This one smells like Big Blue. Wait, it's like Big Blue but not. But there's definitely something else in there, like a spice maybe. That one's really good, really refreshing. I imagine there's sea salt in here. I'm not going to open it, but I'm going to imagine that there's sea salt, otherwise it wouldn't really make sense. But again, it's got the really nice wrapping on it, and it just looks really cool. So yeah. Mmm, love that. The next bath bomb isn't necessarily really, really new because it has been on the website for a little while now, and this is the Cocktail Sieve Bath Bomb. I've just not tried it, and I really wanted to give it a go because I always use a sieve when I do my bubble bars. This one smells familiar. I feel like all of these bath bombs smell really familiar, and I don't know whether it's because they've kind of, like, touched each other or if my scents have just, like, gone completely. But this is really subtle, but, like, fresh. That's so nice. I love this whole idea. The only thing I would get, though, obviously, with the sieve, the reason I like it is because you don't get the chunks of bubble bar, like, at the bottom. Obviously, this isn't going to do that because there's not holes in it, so... We'll see how this works. Great idea though, I really like the idea of that. Honestly, I'm covered in glitter. Like, why did I wear a black jumper and black leggings to film in? I have no idea. Next up we have another 395 one, and this is the Under the Umbrella Tree Bath Bomb. This one, oh, what is that? What is that, what is that, what is that, what is that? No, 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 no. This one smells really familiar. And I can tell you exactly what it smells like, but you're probably going to think I'm crazy. So if you've ever been to Florida, and you've been in Epcot, and you've been on the ride that's inside the ball, and they start burning like paper. That's what this smells like. Like, it's very, very familiar. Yeah, no, don't like that. Absolutely not. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Next up, we have the Deep Sleep Bath Bomb. This is 5 95 and it's in a little kind of cloth situation. It smells like lavender. So good. Love that. Honestly, I think that's one of my favourites. That's so relaxing. Yeah, that's lovely. That'll be a really nice relaxing one. I think it's got little bits of something in it because I can kind of feel it through the paper. So I imagine it all kind of catches it. There's dust going everywhere. But that smells amazing. If you like your sort of subtle fragrances or you want to have something like nice before bed, this is a really good one to go for. Similarly to that, we have this one this is the flower power bath bomb again is 5.95 and this one again is in like a little cloth but this one is more of like a floral fragrance <coughs> i inhaled that far too much like jasmine maybe i don't know but that sounds really really good again very similar it's got little bits inside it so i imagine the little cloth is going to catch all of that but yeah that one is really nice as well mm. Yum. The next bath bomb again is 3 95 so it's one of the more smaller ones and this is the Figaro Figaro bath bomb, I think it's pronounced. Again, this smells familiar. What is that? It's like Calacus, but not. Like, it is a bath bomb that smells kind of like limey. Really nice and fruity, like if you like your fruit smells. This bit of hair has been annoying me this entire video and I'm really sorry if you've been, like, distracted by it because I certainly have. Yeah, that one's really good really really fruity and like nice and little so if you want to get like a little treat that one's a really nice one the next bath bomb i feel like i'm the most excited for and that is the strawberries and cream bath bomb firstly strawberries are my favorite fruit secondly it has like buttercream buttercream in the middle thirdly it smells like defluff shaving soap which i love the smell of and it's only 3.95 so it was such a bargain that's really really nice really good value for money you could definitely break this in half if you wanted to and that smells honestly so edible that i really want to bite it but like obviously i won't because i'll foam at the mouth and like I've got rabies so that's not gonna happen. The next bath bomb I'm a little bit more hesitant to smell because the bubble bar in this scent I really don't like. Ben if you're watching you're gonna know that I hate this smell and I just can't bring myself to smell it but this is the blue skies and fluffy white clouds bath bomb which is 3 95 I think it's a scent that my mum would enjoy. I don't think I'm gonna like it though. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. It smells like patchouli. It's very strong. I can't. It looks amazing. Like, look how beautiful that is. But the smell honestly just puts me off. Like, I just don't want to smell that anymore. The end is near, guys. I have three left. So don't worry. You guys can go very, very soon. I've got three more to go. So I will be as quick as I can. The next bath bomb is the Tender is the Night bath bomb. This one smells 
just like the Tender as the Night Massage Bar. This one retails for $5.95 again, so very similar to most of these. Really lovely, like soft jasmine. So good. And it's beautiful, like it's pink and white and it's just such a lovely bath bomb. It's got some slight like glitter in it, but mm, yeah, love that one. Yummy. We have two more to go. So the first one is the Moonshell Bath Bomb and this one is $5.95. The thing I like about this one is you can actually take it apart and use it in two baths. It has a moon in it, like it's so pretty. And then obviously it has a little moon in this one. And you literally just pop the lid back on and it's just really really cute scent wise this is nice what is that again it's definitely familiar is it the comforter i feel like it could be the comforter or something very similar to the comforter anyway that is really nice and last but definitely not least i thought i would save one that i cannot pronounce for the life of me last so you guys can have a little laugh right at the end of my video and that is the she jimmy she Shijmi butterfly bath bomb at 4 95 <laughs> That's what this looks like. It's a blue butterfly. I loved these last time. I really thought they were a great idea and they look adorable. Scent-wise, this smells like oats. Kind of like Keridrin's Cauldron. That's kind of what this smells like. Really, really relaxing. Really gentle. And I just really like this one. So cute. So we ended on a high note. Good job, Lush. So that's finally everything for my Lush video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. I'm really sorry that it's had to be put between three videos, but... I didn't want to rush through them and I feel like otherwise I would have been like flying through them all I wouldn't have been able to smell them all properly and I just feel like it was a little bit easier so do let me know down below if you found that was okay um, if not I will put it in one big massive video next time so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and pop your notifications bell on because I have got lots of vlogs coming up soon I've got so many trips planned this year that I'm going to be filming and I really want you guys to see them so don't forget to subscribe and I will see you very soon bye guys